a surf side. I make uh, beach and surf inspired jewelry and I sell it on Etsy. So I'll include a link to my shop down below. And I also have an Instagram account, which is Alma Surfside 7, uh, which I'll include a link for as well. And uh, if you want to keep up with my latest work, you can check out uh, both of those accounts. And other than that, I've been doing a lot of beading tutorials, as you know, and I just wanted to welcome you guys back and uh, thank those of you who have left comments. And uh, one person in particular left a comment about what they're working on and how they're interpreting my pattern in order to make something original. So I thought that was really interesting and it really made my day. So thank you so much for uh, sharing what you're working on and how you're using the, these techniques and how you're, you're doing variations of them. That, I find that's uh, really interesting. Okay, so the project for today is a Miyuki Delica bracelet, and it's an original design that I came up with using two types of stitches. So this uh, design has the ladder stitch for the main part of each uh, segment, and then the top part is a brick stitch. Okay, so it gradually gets smaller and then there's a connector that joins the two segments in between. Very simple connector just using a size 11 seed beads. So I did one using a bunch of different tones of pink and the idea that it was supposed to be um, ombre or gradation. Um, so that's how this one turned out and I was pretty happy with the results so I decided to go ahead and get started on another one. So you can see this is an aqua blue version, which I'm going to finish off. And um, so I'll be working on the aqua blue version today. I need to do two more in order to have a total of 10 segments, which will create a full bracelet. And uh, again, I'll show you how to connect each individual component. Okay, you could also um, make a necklace using this technique. I mean, you would need a lot of Miyuki Delicas in order to do that, um, but that's a possibility. Or you could do earrings as well because, uh, you know, each component is separate. So you can, you know, just do a, a small pair of earrings or however you want to apply this uh, pattern um, in your jewelry making would be, would be interesting. Okay, so... Uh, the materials that we're going to use for today are Fireline, and I always use 6 pound or 0 .006. And you're going to need Delicas in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 shades of the same color if you decide to go with uh, the pattern that I've come up with. Um, so the first Delicas that we'll be using are Miyuki size 11 Delicas. And these are matte, light, aqua. Okay. The next uh, beads that I have here are Miyuki size 11 Delicas in opaque, light blue, AB. The third tone is, again, the same size, uh, white lined teal, AB. And I also have, let's see, what's this one called? It's called RD Frozen Blue Silk Inside Dyed. Okay. And the other shade of blue I have here is Duracoat Opaque Dyed Turquoise Blue. And you'll also need white. Okay, so I use this to um, create more definition in the top part of the component here and the bottom part, okay? And then for the uh, each point of the oval as well. So the white shade that I'm using today is uh, RD White Pearl AB. Okay, and you'll also need size 11 seed beads and these ones are silver galvanized. And then for the closure, I always use 15s. So these are size 15 opaque white luster. Okay, and you'll also need some flat nose pliers in order to work with the jump rings at the very end of the project. And you'll need some scissors as well to cut your thread. And of course, you'll need a beading needle and 
I always start with an arm's length worth of thread. Okay, so in addition to all of the beads that you'll need, you'll also have to have a lobster claw on hand, as well as two jump rings, okay? And that's for the closure. Okay, so the plan for today's tutorial is to go over two of the segments, and then I'm gonna show you how to connect them and then how to work your needle around the outside in order to get ready to connect the next component. Okay, so we're gonna go over two of these today. In order to make this bracelet, I have a total of 10 segments. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten, and that fit my wrist really, really nicely. So you're gonna to wanna, to, you know, hold it against your wrist and kind of evaluate how long you need to make it. Um, so I'm going to cut my thread and get my needle and then we'll get started. So I'm ready to pick up three of the first color that I have here on my mat. Okay, so three of the first color. And then I'm going to pick up an additional three of the next color. So I have a total of six delicas here on my needle and I'm gonna push them down. And you're gonna want maybe, I don't know, a five inch tail or so just to be able to weave that tail in at the very end and uh, tie it off. Okay, so I'm inserting my needle through the first three be beads that I put on my thread and I'm gonna pull. Okay, so what you wanna have is three beads of one color on the left and three beads of the next color on the right. And then I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna go down those first, the, sorry, the second set of three beads and pull on my thread. And I'm gonna go up through the previous three beads right there pull on my thread and go down the second set once more. Okay, there we go. So they should be sitting side by side. I've gone through twice, okay, so that they're sitting, you know, nice and taut against each other. And now I'm going to pick up my third color, so I'm going to pick up another three of my Delicas, and this time it's in the frosty blue. And I'm going to go through the opposite side of the beads that are sitting there on the right. Okay. Pull on my thread. Okay, so now they're sitting side by side, and I'm going to reinforce it by going up the frosty blue beads here. and going down the beads that are there in the middle. And then back up the frosty blue. Okay, there we go. So now we have three rows of blue beads all sitting side by side. And I'm gonna pick up my fourth color, which is turquoise. So pick up three more, and I'm gonna go through the opposite side here at the bottom, pull on my needle, and I'm gonna do that again. Go down the next row, right there. Pull on my thread, go back up the previous row, right here. and finally down the last row. So it just means that you're reinforcing, you know, all of these uh, all of these separate rows by going through twice, just so it sits a little bit better. Okay, and I, now I'm ready for my last color, which is the blue, or <laughs> aqua blue, I should say. So three beads are on my needle. I'm going to go down the opposite side here. And I'm going to go 
up the new row here on the outside. Back down the previous row. And up the very last row one more time. So this is called the ladder stitch. It's pretty simple. You're just making sure that all of your rows are sitting side by side. Okay, and now I'm ready for the brick stitch. So I'm going to flip my component so that my working thread is coming out of the far left. And I'm going to pick up two of my white delicas. Okay, just two. And you'll notice that there's threads attaching each of the rows, and these threads are found at the very top. Okay, so there's one, two, three, four, four connecting threads that, that we can see here. And I'm going to insert my needle not under the first one, I'm going to skip that one, but I'm going to put my needle under the second set of threads there that are sitting at the very top. Okay, so that's going to get us ready for the brick stitch. So I've got two there on my needle, and I'm going to go back up through the one sitting on the right. And I'm going to go down the one on the left. And then back up the bead on the right. So now they're sitting flush against the other delicas that are down below. Okay. You'll see there's another thread right here, and that's the next one that we're going to go under. So I'm going to pick up one more white delica, and I'm going to put my needle under that thread right there. Okay, so it's the third one. Pull on my needle, insert my needle through the white. Delica and pull tight. Okay, so we're going to do that one last time for this row. Pick up another Delica, go under the thread, pull tight, and go up the Delica. Okay, so that's what you should have so far. And to make it easier, I always like to have my working thread on the left side, so I'm going to flip it around so that the thread's coming out here. And now I'm going to pick up another color. So I'm going to pick up the matte color that I started with, the one on the, the far left there on my mat. And I'm going to pick up two. And again, I'm looking at the top here of my shape. I'm going to skip the first set of threads and put my needle under the second set of threads there. Right there. Okay. Pull on my needle. I'm going to go up the first, or I should say the second bead. Pull on my thread. I'm going to go down the other bead that's sitting there on the left. and back up the turquoise bead on the right. So now they're sitting nice and flush. Okay, that's what you want to have. And I'm going to pick up one more of the turquoise and I'm going to do it again, this time going under the next thread right here. And I'm just going to go up that turquoise bead. Okay, so that's what you should have so far. Flip your shape around so that your working thread is over on the left. And we're going to pick up two. And this time the second color on my mat here. So just two Miyuki's. I'm going to skip the first set of threads as I always do. And I'm going to go under the second set. Go up the one on the right, down the one on the left, and up the 
one on the right. There we go. Okay, see how nicely they're all stacked up against each other? And then we're ready for one white Delica. And that will be, you know, at the very end of our shape. So we're going to put it on an angle. So I'm going to go down the, the bead there on the left. Okay, so I came out of this one here on the right and went down the opposite one on the left. Okay, so that's how it's sitting at the very top. And then I'm going to reinforce it. So do it again. Go up the one on the right. Go through the white bead. And go down the bead on the left. Okay, there you go. So now your white bead is sitting on an angle. It's the only one that's, you know, pointing upwards. Everything else is uh, facing downwards. Okay, but that's what you want. Okay, so I need to now get my needle around to the outside of my shape. So I'm just going to work it until I can get back to the other side and do the exact same thing. Okay, so I flipped my shape and my working needle is coming out of the left. And we're going to repeat the exact same thing that we did on this side, but now on the opposite side. Okay, so that it's a perfectly symmetrical shape. Okay, so first things first, we're going to pick up two of the white delicas. And I'm going to skip the first set of threads and put my needle under the second set right here. And I'm going to go up the bead on the right. Go down the bead on the left. and back up the bead on the right. Okay, so we're just repeating the same thing. I'm going to pick up one more Delica in white and go under the third bridge here. And go back up the same bead. Okay, we'll do it one more time. Pick up one, go under the fourth bridge this time, and go up the white bead. Okay, there we go. I'm going to flip my shape, and now I'm going to pick up the turquoisey blue beads that I have on the far left side of my mat. Okay, I have two here, and I'm going to skip the first bridge and go under the second one. Go up the bead on the right. And down the bead on the left. Up the bead on the right. Okay, sitting nice and flush. I need one more of the turquoise. And I'm going to go down the last bridge there. Okay. There we go. Flip my shape. And now I'm ready for the second tone of blue here. So I've picked up two, skip the first bridge, go under the second one, go up the bead on the right, and down the bead on the left. Back 
back up. Okay, so now I've reached the top of my shape. And I'm ready for one of the white Delicas. Okay, so this one's going to sit on an angle as we did on the other side. So I'm coming out of the bead here at the bottom. I'm going to put my needle through the bead there at the top. This one here. I'm going to go down. Back up the right. Go through the white bead. And repeat. Okay, so you just want to make sure that it's secure to these two beads that are sitting right below. And go back through the white bead. There you go. Okay, so your shape is basically done. That's how you create each component. And what you can do is uh, insert your needle through the beads that are sitting there on the outside of your shape. Okay, so usually I like to go through all of the blue beads that are sitting there in the center. Just kind of helps everything sit nicely and straighten out any wonky beads that you might have. There we go. And I'm going to tie a knot on the inside of the shape. So I've gone through all of the beads here on the far right hand side and I'm just going to put my needle through the knot or the circle on the outside and pull tight. There we go. So I can cut off my excess thread now. to tie off this thread as well. So this thread was the initial thread that we started with, the tail. And I'm just going to go on the inside of the shape, push the thread through, and create a knot right about there. Pull tight. Okay, and then I'm going to cut it off. There we go. So that's the finished component that we just created together. And that's what you're going to repeat. You know, you need a total of 10 in order to do a bracelet on average. I mean, if your wrist is really small, you might be able to get away with a few less. But uh, that's the idea. So let's go through that one more time. And then you'll be able to carry on on your own and then come back to the video to finish uh, the closure. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut myself some more thread and I've attached my beading needle. And we're going to go through this shape again. So I'm starting off with three of the delicas that are on the far left side of my mat. Okay, in the mat turquoise. And I'm going to pick up three more of the next tone here. Okay, so you should have a total of six, three of each tone. And push those down on your thread. And I'm going up the first three beads there, okay, with my needle. Okay, so your delicos should be sitting side by side. And I'm going to go down the beads that are sitting there on the right. And back up the beads that are sitting over on the left. Okay, so again, this is the ladder stitch. So you're just attaching them so that they sit, you know, side by side. Go down the ones on the far right. And let's see, that's good. I've gone through twice, okay? So it just makes them sit, you know, uh, more straight up and down. 
and I'm going to reach for my third shade of blue, which is here on my mat, and I'm going to pick up three more of the Delicas. So go down the previous, the previous set there with your needle, pull tight, go up the frosty blues that you have there on the outside, and down the previous row, You always want to make sure that you're pulling tight every time you do this, okay, because you don't want to have any loose thread on the inside of your beads. Okay, that's what you should have so far. Pick up your fourth shade of blue. I'm going to go through the opposite side here, so going through the bottom. Pull tight. Okay, so we're ready for our last shade of blue. Another three on your needle. down the top here of the previous row. And go up the new row, down the previous row, and up again. Okay, so we made it through all five rows, as you can see, and again a reminder to turn your shape so that the working thread is coming out of the left side. If you're right-handed, that's probably a lot easier for most of you. And you're going to pick up two of your white beads and skip the first set of threads here and go underneath the second set. Okay, I'm going to go up the second bead. I'm going to go down the previous bead, the first one on the left. And back up the white bead. Okay, so they're sitting nice and flush, and now I'm going to pick up another white one. Go under to the next bridge. Pick up one more white. Go underneath. There we go. So we've done one row of brick stitch with four delicas there at the top. I'm going to flip my shape to make it easier to work with. And now I'm going to reach for my matte turquoise. Okay, so you only need two. Remember to skip the first bridge. Okay, there we go. So two are done. I'm going to pick up one more. Go under the last bridge there. And up the turquoise bead. Okay, there we go. Flip your shape. 
pick up a couple more of the other tone. Skip the first bridge, go into the second one. Go up the bead on the right, down the bead on the left, and again up the bead on the right. Okay, there we go, and I'm ready for one more white bead. And remember, it's going to sit on an angle. I'm just reinforcing it, okay? There we go. Okay, so I've gone through that twice and now I'm ready to get my needle back to the other side so that we can repeat the same thing. So I'm going to go on the outside here, work my needle around. Okay, so now I'm coming out of the blue set of beads there and I'm going to flip my shape so that my working thread is coming out of the left side. And I'm going to pick up two of my white Delicas. And I'm going to go under the second bridge there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pick up another white bead. And finally the fourth one. Okay, so that row is complete and now I'm going to flip it around and again pick up some of my turquoise beads here, a couple of them. Okay, so I have two on my needle and I'm going to skip the first bridge, go into the second one. There we go, pull tight, pick up one more turquoise. Okay, flip my shape. Now I'm ready for another color. This time I'm going to pick up the second uh, set of delicas on my mat and uh, go under the second bridge. There we go. Okay, and I'm ready for my white to sit at the top. Okay. So I'm going to pick up my white bead, I'm going to go down the first bead, and up the second bead, and I'm just going to do that one more time to reinforce it. Good, okay, so now we're done. And I'm gonna put my needle through 
all of the beads sitting on the outside of my shape. until I reach the very last blue one there that's sitting on the far right. And that's where I'm gonna make my knot. So I'm gonna go on the inside of my shape and go through the loop, make sure my thread is sitting at the right point, and then pull tight. Okay, so that's my first knot. I can cut off the excess thread. There we go. And of course we have our, our tail that we started with, so we just need to tie that one off as well. I'm gonna go on the inside of my shape and pull on the thread here after I make a loop and make a nice tight knot there as well. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off the excess and then I'm gonna show you how to link these together. There we go. Okay, so now that you've gone ahead and created multiple oval shapes like I've done here on, on my mat, uh, what you're gonna do is um, insert your needle on the inside of your shape. Okay, I usually like to put my needle right about there. So it's the point where, you know, the blue rows meet the white row. Go on the inside and then you can tie your thread right there. Okay. So I find that's a good uh, place for the knot because it's well hidden. Okay. And then do a double knot just to make sure that everything is really nice and secure. Okay, and now I'm going to insert my needle on the outside of my oval shape and I'm going to climb all the way up to the top there on the far right. Okay, so I'm going to put my needle through the bead sitting there in in the center, the white bead, and I'm going to pull on my thread. And now I'm going to pick up a size 11 seed bead, and I'm going to pick up one of my other shapes, insert my needle through the white bead sitting there at the top. Okay, push those down on my thread. Pick up another size 11 silver bead. And I'm going to go through the opposite side of the bead that I'm coming out of with my thread. Okay, so this side here. And I'm going to pull tight. And you'll see that the components are now connected with two of the silver seed beads. Okay. And you can reinforce that by going through the silver bead, the white delica, the silver bead, the white delica. So just going around the circle again, just to reinforce it and make sure that it's stronger. And go up the silver bead as well as the delica one more time so that your, your thread is basically now in the new component, okay? So that's what's attached it. And then when you want to attach another component, you're going to work your needle around the outside of the new shape that you've just attached. Okay, so you're, you're going to work your way around the outside here on the far right. my needle way up to the top until I reach the white delica. Okay, so your working needle should be coming out of the second shape that you've attached. Okay, so now I'm ready to attach the third component. So I'm going to pick up one of my silver beads and on size 11. 
go through the Delica sitting there at the top of the new bead that you want to attach. Okay, another silver. And I'm going to go through the opposite side there of the Delica. Okay. Pull those together. Okay, so that they're sitting side by side. And then you can reinforce it by going through the silver, going through the Delica of the new component, the silver bead, the Delica, and silver bead, Delica. Okay, so now you've attached the third unit and you're gonna carry on doing that same technique until you've connected all 10 units. So of course, if you decide to make earrings, you know, you could stop there and that would be, you know, a beautiful earring. Um, if you decide to make a necklace, of course, you're gonna attach many more units. It just depends on how long you want it. Okay, so it's a very versatile pattern in that you can, you know, do a whole set of earrings, necklace, bracelet, you know, whatever you want to do with this. And um, yeah, I think it's great because there's such versatility with it. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to get my other bracelet, the pink one, and I've already done the loop, the closure on one side, so I'm going to show you how to do the closure on the other side, okay? just because I don't have everything done on, on the blue set. So I just wanted to quickly show you how to finish off your project, okay? So you're gonna wanna cut some more thread and I'll show you how to do the loop. Okay, so I have my finished bracelet here and I'm gonna put my needle through the inside of my shape. Okay, in the middle, I always find it's easier to go through the middle um, just so you're not struggling to uh, attach your thread, you know, in another awkward spot. So I'm going to create my knot right, right about here. And let's do a double knot just to make sure that it's really secure. Okay. So I've created a knot on the inside of my shape and I'm going to climb up to the very top of this oval. And I'm going to get my needle through the Delica that's sitting there at the top. And now I need to pick up a total of five of my size 15 seed beads. Okay, so total of five, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to go through the opposite side of that Delica, right there at the top. And I'm just going to reinforce that loop by going through it again. back through the Delica at the bottom. Okay, so that just makes it a little more uh, strong when I go through it twice. And then I'm going to go back down some of the beads sitting on the outside of my shape. And I can do a knot on the inside right here. Okay, you can go through a few more beads if you like and do another knot just to make sure that the whole thing is really secure. Again, I go on the inside, create a loop, and pull tight. Okay, so the knot is hidden, okay, under the, uh, 
under the uh, bridge there. Okay, so I'm going to cut off the excess thread. Okay, so get rid of that, and then you're going to cut off the other thread that you had to add in order to create the closure. And finally, you're going to get your flat nose pliers, and you're going to pick up one of your jump rings and insert it through the loop, close it up. And for the opposite side, you're going to pick up another jump ring, as well as the lobster claw. Okay, hook it on, and then insert it into the loop that you just created. Okay, so that's the uh, closure. So that's the finished product there. And I think it's, you know, a beautiful design. And uh, I love the, the use of multiple sh shades of the same color. Um, it would also be really interesting if you used, you know, many different colors. I think that would be really exciting as well. So see what you can come up with in terms of uh, color schemes and play around with it. And uh, yeah, so that concludes our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Okay, take care. Bye for now.